you have beautiful nature and you invested so much in infrastructure. So now the tourists can come. Please share with me your vision about how tourism looks here in Equatorial Guinea. First of all, thank you very much. We have um, the best infrastructure, but in terms of tourism, as we know, we are not traveling for infrastructures. We are not traveling for development. All of us, we travel for a destination. So these last 10 years, the vision of our president and the work that we have been doing, the government, all the government involved, is exactly to prepare the country for the tourist, for the economy, for the, the better development, a better life, better conditions for the, Equator for the citizens of Equatorial Guinea. So after the third economy conference, now we have identified three sectors for our economy and uh, the different opportunities. And the tourism is a key point. So right now, we are working to welcome the tourist because infrastructures and uh, development is not enough. So we need uh, the regulation. We need to work with the law. We need a culture um, we need service quality, international standards. We need certification. We need training. We need exactly, we need exactly the right message to send internationally why to discover this paradise, but with the big missions. So we have wildlife, we have beaches, we have culture, we have um, a lot of diver diversification in the country with different islands. And even from Malabo, from Bioko to the mainland, history, culture, beaches, many, many wildlife. And even we have the small, the small um, Caribbean with the island is called Corisco. So many experience, many sport adventures, like hiding, ecotourism is really, I mean, now the industry, there is a lot of, uh, it's, very, it's a very competitive industry. So um, our segmentation where we can be, we can be, pos we can, we can be privileged with a good, a good, um, a good position in the international tourism industry and with the ecotourism through all the jungle with the nature that we had, with the monkeys, with the gorillas, elephants, or just uh, discover um, special butterflies or bird watchers. And, and then with the gastronomy, with the cultural life, with our heritage that can provide a special experience with a destination that is not so far from Europe. And a well-connected, of course, in the future, once the, 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 the destination will be open, we may need more, 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 air, more airlines, more connections, and even that they will be easier and, and more benefits for the tourists for, to get the better price. And right now we are working for the visa online. We have to know, we don't have to forget that we are a very young country. We have we worked in the last year very hard to do in, in only 10, 12 years. All those, all these development uh, have been done in 12 years. Where did the online visa stand? I have to be positive and realistic. Uh, we can, I can presume the end of next year. Because right now, the visa is, is, is done only through the embassies. But of course, we have OVTs as a part of the African Union countries and uh, up, uh, as a part of the region countries. We have many objectives is to facilitate the mobility of the nations. And of course, uh, the visa online is a must. And this time, the people, they're traveling a lot and they're looking for new destinations. 
They're looking for new destinations and unique, uh, not very, not very massive destinations. And our vision, we don't need massification. We need the quality. We, we are looking for, for quality and even for preserve our ecosystem. That's why the ecotourism is, will be our, our segment and will be our flag for welcome. Everyone uh, wants to dis discover uh, the very unknown paradise in, in Africa. Uh, what about direct flights? That would really easy the way to, to go here. From Europe, basically, uh, they, are, they, they, they have to fly to, or to Madrid and then connect with our, uh, with our national airline company, that is Seba Intercontinental. And uh, from Europe as well, with Lufthansa, so that means they have to go to Germany, Frankfurt, or with Air France, so it's uh, Paris, and uh, Air Maroc is flying as well to Equatorial Guinea. Um, the Ethiopian Airlines from Addis Abeba. So um, it's not difficult to arrive right now. It's not difficult to discover Equatorial Guinea. Tell me, Secretary, is Equatorial Guinea really ready now for the massive tourism or, or not yet? Or do you think it would be better if they come in another two years? It's better in another two years mm -hmm. because for uh, to create a destination, a tourism destination, is take minimum at least five years. You're right. So if we start right now with the visa online, we are not ready. In terms that many actions needs to be done, many actions need needs to we need to put we need to still putting uh, driving forces together. Mm -hmm. Not only in the visa, because on, even the visa is take 10 months to be implemented, the software and even the training and that to be implemented in our embassies, to be implemented in our departments um, in, in, internally in our country. So um, it's take 10 months. At the same time, we need to uh, send the, the, the message, all the marketing, the all branding. the tourism, yeah. to do the branding of the country. Uh, the Equatorial Guinea, our country, our nation um, is well known for the development and the oil and gas and all the infrastructures that we have. But we need to, for the tourism, we need to speak the same language and the international, and the international market and the international media and the international exhibitions and the international act, uh, events and the international lobbies and finding the right place in the international tourism map where Equatorial Guinea can add value and have a lot to offer for the, the, the tourists they're looking to, um, to wildlife experience, to be in contact with the nature, to discover new cultures, new, new experiences, Within, in, our vi in our villages, with our heritage. So we have and a lot. And to relax. And to relax and islands. enjoy. Yeah. So, and, and became ambassadors from our country. And became ambassadors for our country to say, hey, you need to discover Equatorial Guinea. Now, how, how are you going to get people to work in the tourism places, in hotels, in attractions? Do you need to, to teach them? We need training. We need uh, training and, um, and certification. So do you have and, uh, any plan how to train maybe e tourist uh, schools? Yes, we have a tourism schools uh, where in, in Mongomo and even in, Mala right. in, in Malabo. Where, um, and even in the hotels, you can see that we have a national a local local employees, local yes, people. Yes, but if you want to get many tourists here. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. a challenge. It's a challenge, so that's why with the infrastructures that we have, the employers that we have for the moment is enough. So once we will be ready to open the destination and receive not massive, but more tourists, definitely we'll need more human resource, 
more hotels, more restaurants, more airlines companies, and um, we, will, we are working together with all the countries where we have uh, contracts, agreement contracts and cooperation in terms of tourism to share experience because um, uh, many, many countries that we are working, they have more experience in tourism inter internationally, so we can, we can um, take advantage of the experience um, even not only in, for, 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 um, for training, but even as well in best practices. And as well, we, we already have uh, contracts with international institute, like the World Tur uh, we, are, we are part of the tourism organization, yeah, the World Tourism Organization, where as members, we get benefits for trainings, for uh, forums, and as well, we sign agreements as uh, with um, Messe Berlin, that uh, for exhibitions, for, um, for all the media and even for all the activities to promote Equatorial Guinea, like you a fan have trips. Agreement? Yes, like a fan trips for let the tour operators and the, and the tourism journalists, the tourism media, the tourism services, travel agencies, uh, tour operators, destination management. You already are marketing it? They're, you're bringing them or you have plans to? No, no, we bring them already in Equatorial Guinea. They have been already like three times in Equatorial Guinea and they are very excited with the, with the country. It was as well unknown for them. But they're um, waiting for you to... They're waiting for the Equatorial Guinea for the green light. For the green light. For the green light. So that's why we are concerned that, that there is still, we have done a lot, but there's still a long way to do in terms, uh, in terms of tourism. It's not only the accessibility, it's to guarantee as well the tourism experience, That's a right. good service, That's to right. blow away expect ex expectations. And, and the human resource has an important challenge and has a lot to do for make things happen. So the government, through the Minister of Culture, Tourism and Artisanal Promotion, um, we are putting all the needs together and uh, we have already the plan where we are and where we want to be in in the long in, in a short mid term, not more than six years. So if at the end of the, uh, 2020 we can we can start working already with the with the visa with the visa online, we can start with all the strategy with all the mar touristic marketing with all the training with all the activities because right now. The visa is uh, an is obstacle. Exactly. And we know it, we are concerned, and we are working for it. Do you want to convey any message to the Israeli potential tourists? Equatorial Guinea and Israel, we are family. Mm -hmm. We are family because the Israel, they are part of the development of Equatorial Guinea in many, 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 many areas. In terms, uh, for sure, you know, in terms of security, in terms of healthcare, and uh, in, even in other areas. So, uh, for Israel, uh, Quatrail Guinea is not really unknown. <laughs> and of course, for a destination, um, they are more than welcome. And for the for all the nation, for all the Israel, they won't be never difficult to come to Quatrail Guinea. So if you are looking, you have many things. Mm -hmm. You have many things in Israel, and we can learn a lot about your, your industry, your tourist industry. Anytime, if you want to help, you want to assist, more than welcome. And even if you want to discover the Equatorial Guinea for entertainment, for wildlife as well, you are more than welcome. So Equatorial Guinea is home for you. So do, do not hesitate to, to come and visit. And Israel is also home for you. So next time we meet in Jerusalem.